everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Final Fantasy XIV Online Let's Play. And we're going to continue right where we left off. We are going to talk to Nanamo's lady in waiting here. And I think this is going to be the last episode. We might run, run over. These are going to be a pretty long series of quests, I believe. Go ahead and get into it. Thank you for coming, madam. Her grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment to compose yourself before your audience, you may have it. Or if you are ready, it would be my honor to escort you to Her Grace's chambers forthwith. Upon proceeding to Satana's bedchamber, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It's recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes. Yep, we're here. We're at the end of A Realm Reborn. So we are going to put from this quest up until the end into one episode. And I think we'll be able to fit it in there. So here we go. Yep, let's go. Enter. I want one of those stuffed moogles that's on her bed. <laughs> your grace, your guest has arrived. Pray, come in and take your ease. Is well that the steps of faith held against the horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Such noble words, after the fact. I had hoped to speak in the presence of Her Grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. Honored friends, Pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Yay! The gates are open. So we can go to Ishgard. <laughs> Everyone's clapping. Where's your stolen not clapping? Or elf, you know. Very well. Hmm. Is Artemis? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. <laughs> you wished a word, you, you Hase?
You may go. Your Grace. You must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? Sure. <laughs> we just nod. I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. How much we have both changed since that day we met beneath the Sultan Tree. And the days ahead promise to change us further still. I hope that we will recognize ourselves when all of this is over. Rut row. This is gruesome for a Lollafell. <laughs> Sultana is dead. The poison in her wine? You! You did this! What? No, we didn't. Spare us your denials! I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I hereby accuse you of a regicide. Men, arrest this viper. Well, we won't fight because it will make ourselves look guilty. Aw, poor Sultana. Uh. 
How dare you? <laughs> Sir, being turned barring down. a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. You, Hase, how could you? And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland. This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, hmm. and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous indeed. Lord Commander, we must away! You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. <laughs> Come, Lucia. Is he not saying anything about the Sultana being dead? <laughs> of course, Sankard's out here with a pretty girl. Whatever is going on in there? Ah, the ever-dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps? Thancred, of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand. I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous hmm. dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. You best come along with us. You invite me to your party, and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Escalating quickly? <laughs> what in the world? Yeah, go on, make your announcement.
you little turd. You go too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the Frost Blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> As you lecture me on personal armies! As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This, and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> You mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in her grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. in the prisoner how dare you <laughs> I'm no one's prisoner ow we were friends this woman stands accused of poisoning her royal majesty Nanamu Unamo and is suspected accessories to the crime all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison mm -hmm. her grace was found upon the assassin's person. You planted that there. <laughs> How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded Her Grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you! After all we have done for Uldar! Hold your tongue, witch! I'll not be ensorcelled! I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh yes, I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands! Now, that is truly ridiculous! How do you even think of this stuff? She... 
She cannot be dead. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. He, uh oh, he's mad. <laughs> No! Plainly, the royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It Wrong seems thing to say, right bud. You should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. <laughs> Crazy eyes. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. He looks crazy. <laughs> you would mock her, then mock her from hell. What? Dang. Oh. Roban, really? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> was... He looks Have you lost absolutely your insane. Mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them. You've been in league with the Scions all along. You, your next to scheming bastard. Oh, Robon needs a hand. <laughs> oh, Robon, seven hell. Admiral, we must leave. <sighs> They're just going to leave this? I don't know if I agree with that. I think they should have probably stayed. How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. Tis better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You are not the man you once were, Raban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls, and a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? Sure, go for it. See what happens. It was me. <laughs> you... You die! There's Raban that we know and love. I never doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! Raban. I bet that was an epic fight. <laughs> they just faded to black. Ah, there you are. Sancred, where have you been? Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. When I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. It would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? Careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. <laughs> Uh, the Sultana's you know. assassination was but one part of the scheme. We too were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe has thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive hmm. me for stating the obvious. But our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. 
Papa Shan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Nanamo's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. All right, then. Uh oh. The rest of you go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. You know, by yourself. Uh, I suppose I shall just have <laughs> to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida, Papalimo! We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now. Find this tunnel of Thancreds. Aw, come on, Minfilia. Minfilia, we cannot linger. Lolarito. Hmm. What was that about? Ah! Now look what you've done! <laughs> She's mad. Ida, are you alright? There are just too many of them. Fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. Aww. This is so stupid. We're the scions of the Seventh Dawn, the ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're sorely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolimo. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, <laughs> and I'll be damned if it will be the last. Are they limit breaking? <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Spirit bomb. <laughs> Holy crap. Hmm. 
I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildeen style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. Hmm. This way! Well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I had hoped. You two, go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. Wha what do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. <laughs> My friends. Aww. Leave us. What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the <laughs> right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? They're pulling out all their powers to do this. An well, arrow to the this knee, is huh? Going splendidly. Now would be a good time, milady. Tis done. Forgive me, Mitra. Oh. Farewell, Minfilia. No, <laughs> Thancred and Yastola. Oh, even my kitty's upset. She's meowing behind me. Hi, She, she speaks to me. No. I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. What? Please, my cat. You must go on. <laughs> my you cat are is the sad. warrior of light. You are hope for the scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn. The light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape 
and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. Aww. So they all sacrificed themselves for, for us. <laughs> oh, we know this place. Aw. All the scions. <gasps> Is that elf you know? I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Yeah, they didn't make it. Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool! I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. Mm. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. There's some heavy cat purring going on, so I apologize, but she is right up here. She's feeling the feels, feeling the emotions. <laughs> well, would you look who it is? Oh, Did hey! I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. Uh oh, to come in. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard. And we're back right where we started. Aww. And we're so sad, all our friends. That's rough. All the scions gone. I was stocking up on supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Ulda and likely needed a helping hand getting away. Oh, Afi knows sister. I think in them ruins would make a fine hiding place. I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were. Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Ha! <laughs> Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? <laughs> I had thought to look out for Alize, but would appear she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things.
And who might you be, young sir? <laughs> Pippin Taropin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers, and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It's Raban's son. It was son. only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. Really? Who? Wait, who's there? I oh, dreamed Elfino. of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end. Chin up, Elfie, no. T'was I who needed saving. Poor kid. I like him. Even though he was whiny, he didn't deserve all this. <laughs> oh, uh, them soldiers are keep searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll take the carriage back towards Ulda. And get lay of the land. Maybe provide a distraction if need be. You three wait here. Help will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fight's to come. Thanks, Brent. Alright, let's go. Did it teleport us out there? It must have. <laughs> it's saying we did. We teleported straight out, <coughs> straight out of Alda. <coughs> okay. All right. Um, Pippin. How are things? The most, uh, the most unassuming folk can prove to be our greatest allies. That fellow was but a passing merchant, yet he lent us aid without a moment's hesitation, or any hint of concern for his own safety. Though I can well imagine how a man could feel inspired to risk all in your presence. Father spoke often of you, Vesper, and long have I looked forward to our first meeting. Needless to say, this is not at all how I envisioned it. Master Elfino, you must not give in to despair. That would only play into our enemy's hands. So long as you and Vesper are free, we may still set things right. Forgive me, Marshal Terrapin, but I... Elfino, my boy, sorry to keep you waiting. Who is it? Oh, <gasps> Sid! Sid, what are you doing here? Pulling you out of the fire, as usual. Your merchant friend told me everything. Truly, then he is no merchant but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us, how do you intend to bear our friends to safety? I hid the Enterprise but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. We must find a place beyond the reach of both the Monetarists and the Crystal Braves. Corthus, Ishgard will not suffer the intrusion of foreign forces in their territory. That settles it. With me, everyone. Not I, I fear. I must remain here. I dare not abandon Alda to the monetarists and their cronies. 
You may be certain that they will seek to defame you, both here and in the other city-states, but know that I shall do my utmost to thwart their every effort. Frankly, I do not expect it to be much of a challenge. The small folk will not turn so easily on the warrior of light and her allies, no matter what the monetarists claim. Marshal Tarpin, I, I know not what to say. Ha! Now that father would labor to believe. But enough talk. You must go, Master Alfino. Your airship awaits. Yay! Alright, we're going on the airship with Sid. Up, up! There's no rest for the righteous. Alright. Bye, everybody. <laughs> We're heading off. Going to Ishgard. Good luck, Pippin. You got your work cut out for you, too. Oh, dang, this is a heavy episode. <laughs> Lots of cutscenes, but hey, it's a good story. Great story. And we finally made it to the end of A Realm Reborn. Oh, that's Corthus from way up high, huh? We're not really equipped with the right outfit to be running around in the snow. Bye, Sid. Thank you for saving us yet again with your airship. There's another airship up there. You see it? We should make for Camp Dragonhead and speak with Lord Horshafon. Mayhap, mayhap he will know what to do. All right. Are we still in A Realm Reborn right now? <laughs> I should have looked what the last quest was called. Oh. Let me real quick. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up what the last what the last quest is, so we know we haven't gone too far. Ah, we're good. We're good still. Um, we're gonna try to do the last one too. Where are we? There we go. <laughs> Let's get up there. I know we're way over on time, but I do want to finish all of it in this episode. So let's get up there, finish this, speak to Horshafont, and then head out and do the last quest. Um, in here, Horshafont. Master Alfinal told me your tale, Vesper. It warms my heart that you should turn to me before all others, and I shall endeavor to deserve your trust. Alas, the situation here has grown more complicated in your absence. It would be best if I explained in full. Oh, God. Okay. All right, this should be the last quest of A Realm Reborn. And everything else will be Heaven's Ward. Um, so this is the last quest we'll do this episode and in this season. But we'll get it done. Hi, Horshafont. There has been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault. And tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts. But the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard. And to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. Hmm. <clears throat> How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the Gates of Judgment. 
Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune. Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar, and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. Do you mean you? You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray, think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows <laughs> or some such. It fits, <laughs> I must say. The falling snows. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Forton. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. <laughs> Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. Pray, join the rest of your companions. The rest of your companions? Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Wait, who else is here? <clears throat> what companions? Speak with the house Fortan, Fortan guards. Wait, who's here? <gasps> Is it Tataru? Koopo Koopo, <laughs> some FC. Yeah, let's go inside. Oh, several cutscenes will play in sequence? Well, it's the end of... Oh Lord. Tataru! Elfino, Vesper, is it really you? Aw. Aw, she's crying. I'm I'm so happy that, that you are <laughs> I tried contacting Minfilia and the others, but no one would respond. And then Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. Philomene told me to run, and so I did. I ran and I ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached, but I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I had observed some of the braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. <gasps> Yukiri! I forgot about her. <laughs> Yay, she's okay. Hmm. And yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. Pretty, isn't she? Oh, th is this the first time we saw her face? Anyway, after Yugiri found me, we traveled to Vesper Bay and met up with Yurianger. When we told him what had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. <clears throat> the transformation didn't take long, either. Apparently, Yurianger started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Empire ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh yes, yeah, so we waited there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come, but no one else did. My people are searching for the other Scions, even as we speak, but we have met with no success as yet. I'd hoped that you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, but you should know, the Rising Stones did not share the Waking Sands' good fortune. Only cri Crystal Braves await you there. Be that as it, as it may, we yet have cause to hope, do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is not po impossible that the others could have done so as well. You may have been forsaken <clears throat> by men and women believed true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay our debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the scions restored to their rightful place of honor. That looks cozy. Oh. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. 
And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? Oh, yes. I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored. And sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. It was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Elfino. Horshafant? He needs a pep talk, please. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? Alphano, if I may? Should this place not serve our purpose, then... Then we shall go to Ishgard. Ooh. Minfilia told me many times as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. Be it in the snow or in the clouds, we few will see that the dawn's light shines again. You are right, Totoro. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. Yay! Like right now, or <laughs> we? What's happening? Cutscene, I know, but oh, I actually love this the song that's playing. Oh, goodbye, Realm Reborn. We're gonna skip this. <laughs> we'll be here forever. Oh. All has been arranged as you desired, my lord. Ah. <sighs> 
course, he's behind it. Although that wasn't a noise of a happy man. <laughs> what in the world? Is that a prison? Oh, Robon. Missing an arm. Of course. You guys again. Nabrialis is no more. The ardor was not his to invoke. His demise was of his own making. Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have extinguished that which should rightly be eternal. Mayhap he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The Northern Lands, then? The earth is fertile, and the seeds well sown. By my will they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will. Oh no! I have answered thy summons, emissary. Speak and make thine intent known. Yurianja, really? I would speak of fate, Archon. Yours, mine, the fate of this very star. Aww. Is that Ishgard? <laughs> it looks it looks it looks Ishgardian. Is that the gates of judgment? I think so. Sanctuary lieth beyond. Midgard Stormer, listen. You and I are going to have words. Delusion. Despair. Death. Thou shalt find naught else here. Well, we're still going in there. To pres preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. <clears throat> Their hearts filled with hope and eyes fixed heaven's ward. <clears throat> All right. Oh, my left arm. Rip Robon. <laughs> Rip Robon's left arm. All right. Um, is this? This is Heaven's Word right here. Okay. Well, guys, that was it. <laughs> that was a Realm Reborn. 
Um, I probably did some cutting because I think I did like two or three intros. <laughs> um, and I'll probably hopefully catch them all and cut them all out. But um, I know this has been an extremely long episode full of a ton of cutscenes. But I want to thank you with for sticking through with it, um, sticking through a Realm Reborn. I'm excited to give and get into Heaven's Ward and um, play around with the main story quests there. We are going to look at some doing some other classes as well, I believe. I'm going to stick with Black Mage, but we're definitely going to pick up um, Ast Astrologian, the healer. I would also like to pick up the, the Machinist. We might pick up Dark Knight, but I'm terrible tanking, so I I don't know how well that will go. Um, but definitely we'll be sticking with Black Mage as our main. We may try Red Mage. I've been really wanting to try it. We haven't picked that up yet, um, but I've, wa I've been wanting to give that a go, so we'll see. Uh, we're also going to start the Hildebrand quests sometime during Heaven's Ward, um, because those are great. I love those quests. And I would really like to do those as well. So, again, thank you so much for all your support on this series. If you do want to see more of the Final Fantasy XIV online Let's Play, make sure to leave a like or subscribe, subscribe to the channel. I will see you in Season 2 as we start Heaven's Ward. Bye-bye, everybody!